Peter Bingo said, Obey your thirst. <laughs> now the psalmist, one author said that if you give David his God, he is as content as the thirsty beer. Which finally, after a long search, quinces his thirst and is perfectly happy. When David wrote that song in Psalms 42, 1 and 42 verse 1 and 2, praise God that if you give David the presence of God, even in the midst of trials and problems, now he was running because Saul wants to kill him, but the presence of God makes him so satisfied even he lives in a cave. What I'm trying to, praise God, give a shadow of teaching right this afternoon as to encourage you, praise God, that even the, your employer is too difficult to deal with, your alaga is too difficult to deal with, praise God, your husband is too difficult to deal with, or it could be your boyfriend, your parents, praise God, or your kasama sa morning house. Too difficult to deal with. But in David's case, just give him the presence of God. He is satisfied. I don't care. Praise God what will happen outside. I don't care. Praise God what others may say. Just give me the presence of God. And it's enough. I will be satisfied. Yeah, it's good to have a nice high salary. Yeah, it's good. If your employer will give you extra food allowance, yeah, it's good. But what is money without Christ? What is fortune? What is, praise God, assets in life without the presence of God? David understood, hallelujah, that the presence of God is the only thing that can satisfy his thirsty soul. And I hope that this afternoon you will go home with a knowledge and with an understanding, hallelujah, that only the presence of God counts. Only the presence of God, it really matters. So many people who are rich, wealthy, they have everything, name it, they have, but they have no peace of mind. They cannot sleep so nice at night. They always wake up, and when they wake up, praise God, full of anxiety and fear. Praise God, but the Christians of FW, their sleep is so sweet. They don't want to wake up early because trabaho na naman. I will share to you this afternoon as quick as I can. Praise God. There is a story in John chapter 4. Can you show it on the screen that you can praise God? Hannah? No, let's go to Exodus chapter 15 verse 22 to 26. This is the first recorded in the Bible. Praise God, people complaining because they were so thirsty and they could not find water. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea and they went out into the wilderness of Sor. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. Just imagine with this. Huh? Three days in the wilderness walking, praise God, they could not find water. water. Three days without drinking water, praise God. It's very really dangerous in our digestive system. Yeah. They, they fainted. The day, praise God, the temperature is so hot because it's wilderness. And they could not find water. Praise God. Whether you are a leader or a child, your body will cry out for water. Yes. Or a pastor plus I don't want, I don't need, my body don't need water. Because I'm so beautiful. <laughs> My body doesn't need water, Pastor Plaza. I'm macho man. No. As long as you claim, pray, we know that we are humans, our body needs water. Verse 23. Remember, they could not find water. And when they came to Mara, everybody shout Mara. Mara. They could not drink of the waters of Mara. There was a well, there was a lake, there was a fountain. The problem was the water is bitter. That's the word Mara. Mara means bitter. I hope that all the whites here are not Mara. You are sweet, okay? 
Then for the name of it was called Mala because the waters were bitter. Now how can they drink? Praise God, the water is not good to drink. They found, but it's useless. It, it, it will not satisfy their thirstiness. Maybe you say, oh, Pastor, that's a victory. Why, brother? My salary is Eden K. Wow. Oh, Pastor, that's a big employer. Na, 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 na. Di ba, lay natin tao sa Pastor, basta magkasundo kami. Aanhin ko ang 20K kung hindi kami magkasundo. Amen. Everybody say, Amen. Amen. Di ba, lay na, hindi ko ang panghasman ko, basta magkasundo kami. Amen. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God. No? Nanay Mel, mga kapatid, very happy. Kasundok sila si Tatay. Eh. <laughs> Verse 24. The people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? The first thing that I'm going to share to you as the psalmist links physical and spiritual thirst is this. When you are thirsty, the possibility to murmur is very high. Yes. Same is true also in the spirit. In the church, if there are people who murmur, oh, how is it spiritual? So, if you are murmur, say, what do you say? Sis, I know you are not going to be able to do and the people murmured saying against Moses so thirsty people in the spirit they will speak against their leaders you coordinator na me pakulkul pa yan pakulkul pa yan they will speak against why? because they are thirsty Lord, it will speak against you. Kung kulang yung padala mo, damihan mo, di ba? Hindi na yung magsabi mga kapatid. And the people said, what shall we drink? 25, verse 25. Read it with me. And he cried unto the Lord. So when Moses received, praise God, words that are against him, he cried unto the Lord. He did not post in it, he cried unto the Lord. for them a statute and an ordinance that there and there he proved it. That tree that God showed to Moses was an instrument to prove the people if they will listen to him or not. So Moses cut the branch of the tree and he threw it into the lake or into the fountain and the waters immediately like a magic it becomes sweet. The bitterness gone away when the tree touches the waters. <laughs> there is no other tree mentioned in the New Testament. It always refers to the cross of Christ. The tree in which the Messiah was hung. And if you receive the message of the cross, your love that is bitter will become sweet. Hallelujah! And the message of the cross as it touches your life Everybody shall praise the, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Verse 26. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, 
and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his praise God. His commandments, his words, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, we never satisfied to drink the waters in Mara because it, we, it was no longer bitter. So when all of them were satisfied from the oldest to the youngest, then the Lord instructed them, it's time to move on. And they went, praise God, into the place that was called, praise God, in Numbers 33 verse 9. Numbers 33 verse 9. It says here, praise God. Okay? And they removed from Marat and came unto Elim. And in Elim, there were how many fountains? Twelve fountains of water. And three score and ten palm trees. How, how, praise God. How many? Seventy palm trees. And the pits there. So after drinking, after being satisfied with a miraculous sweet water in Mara, the Lord, praise God, instructed them, move to Elim. Because in Elim, there was a natural water there. Praise God. From the twelve fountains. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the water is so abundant in Elim. The seasons also in life. May mga panahon sa ating buhay na parang uhaw na uhaw ka. Kulang ang sahod. Pero may mga season sometimes. Sobra-sobra ang pera dahil sa daming lysi mga hindi. There are seasons in our life, praise God, that we feel, praise God, it, it, it tastes so bitter. Abroad nga ako, pero basta hindi ko ma-feel ang pagka-abroad. It's not about feeling. Look at your visa. It's Hong Kong visa. <laughs> well, God is said, Amen. Yeah. Don't rely on your feelings. Praise God. Pastor, hindi ko talaga feel na abroad. Hindi mo na kailangan i-feel ang abroad. Pag maraming blessings, pag maraming mga pagpapala, Pastor, feel na feel ko talaga ang abroad. I said, there are seasons in our life. Praise God. So don't surrender. Don't give up. Just move. Just continue to move. Pag nahirap si Abu, pag isamahan, tiyaga, patience. Pag natapos ang kontrata, patay mo. about a thirsty woman was at a well praise God in Samaria these are the only two stories in the Bible about thirst the woman praise God a pitch water in Jacob's well in Samaria I will read to you the story now Jacob's well was there Jesus therefore being weary with his journey so in Jesus humanity Sa pagkatao ni Jesus, dumating din ang punto na weary, napapagod. Kaya kung ikaw napapagod na ngayon sa ikasampong kontrata, normal. Deserve nyo daw. Pero pag napapagod ka sa husband mo, abnormal. Abnormal. 